Hey everybody, it's Faith from Fire Sign Terror. I hope everybody's well. So, it's been a rough couple of weeks. I've been kind of sick. Had a lot going on. So, I'm going to try my darndest over the next few days to finish up for March. Okay? I'm going to try to get the cusps out this month. going to try to get round two out this month. I, I, I can't guarantee anything at this point, guys. My, my health is questionable. <laughs> I won't freak anybody out, but... I got some issues right now, but I'm here to spread love and light and joy and peace. So let's just focus on that. Aries, friends, if you're new here, anything you're going to need to know is in the description box down below, including where you can find us on social media. And if you're interested in a personal reading, go give that a gander. It's down by the like button and the subscribe button. So yeah, you want to go get that up. Cool. That'd be cool as well. All right, I'm going to just go ahead and tip right down. I'm going to get into it for Aries. All right, give me a flyer. Flyer for Aries. Um, that's a little much. Eight of Pentacles reversed. Four Pentacles reversed, Seven of Cups reversed, Queen of Wands reversed. Oh, well, shoot. Yeah. Not putting work into something. Okay. I'm putting these back. I'm going to see if they come back out, but... I feel like somebody got cut loose and they're not sure why. Something is no longer being invested in. Could have something to do with work. I don't know. Maybe you met this person at work. You're not investing any more time, energy, and effort into something possibly because you got cut loose. Or you cut somebody loose and they're just, you know, not in the greatest of spirits about it. Queen of Wands reversed. She can be slightly jaded at times. But again, we'll see if it comes back out. Two cups reversed. There's a separation. Oh my, Aries. Nine of Cups are first at the bottom of the deck. Oh my gosh, I'm getting blown up here. Hmm. Not saying anything yet. Don't be so down in the dumps about it, Aries. Possibly a reason for it. Maybe we'll find that out, too. Let's get the energy of the person you're dealing with. You. The star. Could be an Aquarius. Could have Aquarius in their chart. It's the card of healing. It's the card that comes after the tower. All right. Why do I get a feeling this is about to get very case specific? I hate it when that happens, but it's fine. 
Every once in a while, I'll sit down to read cards for a general, and the universe just connects me to a specific person or situation. If they're meant to see it, they will. Page of Wands. Mm. He's fun. Yeah. Little Mr. Adventurer. Nothing's gonna stop me now! Could be another fire sign you're dealing with. Questions. The unlit path. Danger lurks. Okay. Hmm. this a wad? No, it's just two. Star and the Hangman reversed. Okay. So you've managed to heal. Maybe you both have, but you're still a little bit hung up on each other. You're still all energetically up in each other's crap for whatever reason. Let's find out why. Two of Cups reversed. Why is Aries all two of cups reversed, please? You. You. <laughs> oh, wow. The emotion was there. Somebody couldn't express it. The door got slammed. Okay. Fair enough. Maybe you had to maintain your composure. Maybe they did. Either way, a door was slammed. Okay. The four of wands in the reverse is my minor arcana tower. The poop at the fan. Something changed here. Possibly because someone could not express their emotions. Why is the Five of Pentacles reversed here for how Aries feels about the person that they're dealing with? Five of Cups reversed. Okay, so you want to walk away from the sadness. You want to come out of the cold. You don't want whatever painful cycle that you're in to come to an end. You want to come back together with this person. Okay. Ten of swords revert. I feel like something ended abruptly. I feel like something ended very abruptly. Why the Queen of Cups? Why the Queen of Cups reversed for what Aries thinks of the person they're dealing with? Knight of Pentacles. Eight of Swords.
I might be wrong. But if I'm right, I'm right. There's anxiety here. You think that, you know, either the person you're dealing with has lost all feeling and no longer hold a cup for you, or they never did. This almost feels cordial. Why is the Knight of Pentacles here? Things are out of balance. The rebuilding of a tower. Somebody couldn't make up their mind. There's potential to rebuild the tower, but there it would be a process. Somebody having issues making up their mind. Do I or don't I? What do I do here? Do I rebuild? Do I make an offer? Do I try to smooth things over? But what if they don't feel anything anymore? It's that question. Okay. It leads me to the Four of Cups. Aries intended actions toward the person they're dealing with. Why the Four of Cups? Why the Four of Cups? Cooperation, communication, judgment reversed. Why judgment reversed? Page of Cups, Ace of Wands. It's going to be communication. Try to start something, but I feel like somebody would just soon bury it. Moon card, moon card. Something was shrouded in the shadows with this. All right, whoever you're dealing with showing up, it's the page of wands. We're going to address this in a second. Oh, cherry decided to pop out. We'll put it back. Bottom of the deck, four of pentacles. Holding back. Holding back. There's distance. Someone's keeping their distance and holding back. Someone's not expressing. Why the page of wands? A cycle has completed, off to the next. I've done all the work I need to do here. Seven of Pentacles. Waited patiently for things to fruit, off to the next. Five of Wands. There's an internal struggle here. Seven, sorry, Seven of Wands. Their internal struggle. They may be ready to move off to the next, but something's pulling them back. Something is weighing them down. All right. How they feel about you? Why the Eight of Pentacles reversed? Or how whoever Aries is dealing with feels about them? You've stopped putting energy or effort in. You never felt anything. That's how they feel about you. 
death and the high priestess. There was secrets. Yes, there was an energetic tie. Yes, it was a soulmate connection, but this is cycled out. The connection has died. Okay. What do they think of you? Five of Wands reversed. That's avoidance of conflict. Page of Pentacles. Ace of Swords. Ace of Swords. If I did offer that small pentacle. And then if I did communicate. Ten of Cups reversed. Shit's going to hit the fan. Avoidance of Conflict. Intended actions, Ace of Swords. That's a new start in communication. Oh boy! The Devil and the Nine of Pentacles reversed. Okay. That got hot quick. It's like a drug. Keep it to yourself. Don't let go. Don't let go. Nine of Wands. There's the tenth wand. This has horrible idea written all over it. I'm not going to lie. Horrible idea. Three cups reversed. Six of swords, bottom of the deck. It may just be best to keep the distance between you. As much as I think you both would want to fire something up again... This has bad idea written all over it. Five of Swords reversed. That's dirty backdoor deals. Eight of Pentacles upright. Ten of Pentacles reversed. Five of Swords or er, yeah, five of Wands reversed. the Ten of Pentacles reversed. Making emotional decisions and not laying something to rest. Returning. I feel like if y'all decided to get something going again, it would literally be just a constant avoidance of disaster. This has disaster written all over it, I'm not going to lie. You're healing, you're working on your healing, you're still all up in each other's energy energetically. I feel like pro you're probably soulmates, fine, okay. One of you is probably thinking about the other continuously. Okay, fine. Probably not a good idea to get this going again. This feels very toxic. Like it would always forever be shrouded in secret secrecy. Moon. Moon card. Moon card. Why the moon card? Why is dirty little secret running through my head right now? Two of Wands. 
I see the other person letting go. Seven of Cups and just... Moving on, Six of Swords. Queen of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Hmm. Could be Taurus energy. Any Earth sign for that matter. Doesn't necessarily have to be, but it's a card of independence. What the F? Oh, sorry. It's work. It's always work. Let's get a wisdom on this. I mean, Aries, I never like it when the Ten of Swords reversed comes up in one of your spreads. Sometimes abrupt endings occur to protect you. be told. Okay. We're going to read the oracle and the relationship. Number 14, 1 plus 4 is 5. 5 is contrast. Yeah. Yeah. I'm feeling like this is a horrible idea. Let's change. Number 14. Healing, accepting things at face value, coming out of denial, the willingness to be transparent, clarity of communication, oracle message. There is the truth, which is the essence of a thing, and then there is a truth. The truth, a truth. Subjective according to the philosophy of the adherent or believer. This is not a time for debate about which truth is truer. This is a time when you are called to proclaim your truth out loud and be willing to be transparent, honest, and open in your communication. Goodness. <laughs> Sorry. With others and with yourself, nothing less than surrender to what is, peeling off the layers of denial that kept you tied to an illusion will set you free. Be authentic and gloriously flawed, and spirit will answer with miracles. Okay, relationship message. If people tell you who they are very quickly if you're willing to listen to what they say and pay attention to how they behave. This card calls you to engage in heartfelt, open conversation. It's time to see the truth about what you share with each other and tell the truth about who you are and what you need. No one can do that for you. Remember that your truth is always based in your personality and your experience up to now. A higher truth will be found after you communicate honestly and see how doing so has helped you become more attuned to yourself. Don't hold back. Speak your truth and listen. Okay, so if conversation happens, leave it there. <laughs> you don't have to listen to the tarot reader. I just feel like this is eminent disaster. I'm just throwing that out there. All right, guys, Aries, I love you. Know that you are loved. Be blessed. Take care. I send you off with peace, love, and light, and I will see you the next time I see you.